Hello everyone, how's everything? You guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. Let's get on today's video session. Oh yeah! Today is all about Sonic Team. Yes, it's all about Sonic Team. Wow, well, if we are talking about Sonic Team, let's do this. I do you think this is Sonic Team's Sonic 3D? So welcome back on my video session today guys. Wow, this is awesome. I love it. Hello, guys. So, how are you guys doing today? Okay. Absolutely amazing. Rocking on music. So. Welcome on my video session today, everyone. So today we are going to be talking about Sonic Team Crazy Plans. Yes, just daft things what they're doing. I mean, I don't know what to say about what Sonic Team's doing crazy, crazy things. I think in my previous video we were talking about. Sonic games, where my previous video are saying that the best Sonic games ever released were a mixture between Sega Dreamcast and Nintendo GameCube. But Nintendo GameCube had better ones, didn't it? Nintendo GameCube holds the best titles for Sonic Team games, hundred percent. If you guys didn't know that, he holds one of the best games ever for Sonic Team games, and there were some other Sega games. As well, join the revolution of Nintendo GameCube. One of them games that that was really really impressive. I mean, there was a similar game like this called Sonic Jam on Sega Saturn. But Sonic Jam, all the games were already there. It was Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog Two. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, something like that, and Sonic the Knuckles, and stuff like that. That's all he had, and stuff like that. Now, Sonic Team did the same thing again. This time, the game was called Sonic Mega Collection on the Nintendo GameCube. The one I got in right in front of me is a Japanese version of, the, of that game. Look at this. This one. Nice. Look. I love the way they write Nintendo Game Game in Japanese. Seven games in there, yeah? Absolutely thrilling. Sonic Mega Collection. Beautiful. Beautifully written. Take a look. Right, so there's seven games in this, yeah? I mean, if you look at this game, right, man, wow. All classic games. They're all brilliant. The graphics are so crystal clear and great audio sound. Wow, this is quality game, man, quality. So, yeah. Do take a look at that. It's an excellent game. But my video is not about having this game on Nintendo GameCube. But this is a really big game. Yeah. Sony Mega Collection on Nintendo GameCube is a, such an awesome game. It's a really good title, this is. 
But now let's go further in what Sonic Team is doing. What Sonic Team is doing? They're releasing too many remakes. Now we're gonna go in visually on each system the remakes I can think of. They're crazy. Companies crazy and stupid to do all these dab things. Okay, let's start from we're only gonna be looking at Nintendo platforms because Nintendo platforms has the best platform games and obviously and this Sonic and of course. Um, Roy, Nintendo GameCube. Are they going to be using any of these remakes from Nintendo GameCube? <laughs> you can go focus. What the hell this company is doing? They're really stupid, I swear. I just already know this. I'm going to tell you what it's all about. Let's just like, let's take a look at all these daft remakes. Nintendo GameCube. Here we go. Sonic, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sonic Heroes. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> These are all remakes coming from Sonic Team. Oh my goodness sake. Hold on, hold on. Give me a break. Now, if we look at all these guys on Nintendo GameCube, they're already fabulous. What's wrong with them? They're excellent. They're already really, really good. Why do you want to buy these games again? There's some daft people that think it's a good idea. Of course it's not. It's stupid to buy these games again. We're going to quickly rerun this. Okay. Nintendo Wii. Sonic and the Seeker Rings, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic Colors, they already released that, they released on Nintendo Switch, <laughs> they released on Nintendo Switch, stupid, absolutely stupid, they released that, now all of the Nintendo Wii games, I don't think any of them are worth it, why did Sonic Team release remakes on these? Why is it trying to re release two of the remakes which are not released? Sonic Colors! This game is average. Why are you release you you that for? Let's go further. Nintendo Wii U. It's crazy. Crazy world, isn't it? Sonic Mania is based on old games. That's absolutely a crap game. Yeah, they're not releasing a remake on that. But you know what? This guy who made Sonic Mania, he took ideas from these games. Yeah, they were rubbish. They were all rubbish. The graphics just looked the same. They were just more difficult, and some parts of it just looks different. It looks stupid. The game's just dreadful. It looks rubbish, man. I hated that game. Let's go further. Sonic Boom. This talks about Sonic Boom remake. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Sonic Boom! <laughs> Give me strength! What kind of crap game is that? <laughs> Let's go further. Uh, Sonic Lost World. Nah, there isn't a remake on that. So far, there isn't. They're actually talking about that. I wonder why they're talking about that. Because it's copied from all from from Super Mario Galaxy World. The 3D thing is it's kind of ridiculous anyway. Sonic Forces. Yeah, it's a remake on that as well. <laughs> Another one. Oh man. Sonic Mania is made from the old Sega Mega Drive games. It's not worth it anyway. Sonic Boom, a remake, which they should never make anyway. Sonic Lost World, there's no remake so far. 
hope there isn't anyway. Sonic Forces, there's a remake. The game's average. Why are you losing a game on that? I have no idea. Nintendo Switch. I think Nintendo Switch by far is a most awful system for Sonic Team Games. <laughs> Sonic Mania. Uh, Sonic Forces. I said from Nintendo Wii, Sonic, you know Sonic Colors from Nintendo Wii? That's a Nintendo Switch. They released that on there. It looks crap. The damn game's got the same graphics and the same gameplay. It looks rubbish. No one's even talking about it. Now take a look at all these daft games. Show me rerun these games again, if I can remember them. <laughs> look how many there are of them. Now let's look at this full collection. Sonic Adventure DX Tractor Scott, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, they are fabulous games. But we don't need remakes on it. Stop this right now. We don't need them. Now the next bunch was Sonic and the Seeker Rings, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic Colors. Of course, Sonic Colors is made of Tender Switch. And the other two Nintendo Wii games are just dreadful. Nintendo Wii, no sorry, Nintendo, what's the next one? Sorry, I didn't make a mistake. Sonic Mania, Sonic Boom, Sonic Forces. All these dreadful games. Sonic Lost World as well, yeah. None of these hardly any of these games are anymore. Nintendo Switch, you got Sonic Mania, Sonic Forces, and Sonic Colors, which is from Nintendo Wii anyway. Now look at all these dreadful games. The only one, if you look at all this collection of Sonic Team games, the one which stands out the most is Nintendo GameCube games. Don't they? Obviously, Nintendo GameCube holds the best Nintendo game exclusives as well. No joke. Even Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch doesn't hold them. No. Nintendo Game Exclusives are the best ones on Nintendo GameCube. The same thing is happening with Sonic Team on Nintendo GameCube. What is Sonic Team playing about? What is, is all this rubbish about? Let's just pump some music up, man. Oh yeah! We never talk about Sonic 3D, do we? Something to do with Sonic Mania Collection! Woo! Oh my Sonic T, what's wrong with you? Okay, fabulous. Now, in this game, I think, let me cover all the games in this Sonic Mega Collection. It's got Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, 3, Sonic 3 Knuckles, 4, uh, Sonic 3D, 5. Sonic Spinball, 6. Number 7, which was not a very good game, Flicky. Now, all of these games are fabulous. Now, Sonic 3D was a kind of like 3D platformer. It's a fabulous game on Sega Mega Drive. When I saw that first time, I go, wow. Because Sonic 3D? It says 3D on it. He's using the word 3D because the game looks like 3D. It's got like, it's got like 3D graphics. Okay, it's probably not maybe like 3D. 
yeah, and all that. But but yeah, the actual game, right? It's really really good. Okay, just wanna. Yeah, it looks really really good. Looks really tremendous. If you look at the Sony Mega Collection package, Sonic 3D is the uh, really looking like horizontal way graphical game. The graphics are amazing. The uh, the music's really good on it. Can this be the best platform game from Sonic Mega Collection? Maybe not. Sonic 3 Knuckles is the best one in my opinion. But still, Sonic 3D holds it up there so, so good. It's a quite tough game, Sonic 3D, I'll tell you that. But it's a very good game. Okay. Now, he's reading all these remakes. What's the reason behind reading these remakes? Now, if you already released this game on the original systems, like especially like Nintendo GameCube, it makes a person a proud owner to have them games on there. But if you start releasing your games on other platforms, it's gonna it's gonna look really stupid, isn't it? Because people who already own them, they won't be happy with that. A lot of people are very disappointed. They go, why is Sonic Team releasing too many remakes? It's ridiculous. Now it seems to me, because Sonic Team is talking about games like... Yeah, there's one, there's some other remakes he's making as well. Sonic, Sonic Generations, Sonic the Hedgehog as well. Stupid, isn't it? Now these two games were already well some generations were already good, but some that was rubbish. That glitches graphics and all, you know. And it's very slow indeed in gameplay. He's making remakes on that as well. You know what? There's one thing I don't understand. Why is he mixing up you know crap and good games in the remakes? What is going on here? Why is he releasing all of these bunch of all of these Sony games? Which most majority of them are just rubbish. They're absolutely rubbish. Now let's get something clear. Okay, here we go. Let's see which Sony games are good. The ones he's trying to release as remakes. <laughs> Stupid company I swear man. Here we go. Sonic Adventure DX Tractors Club. Excellent. Sonic Adventure 2 Bowel, excellent. Sonic Heroes, excellent. Shadow the Hedgehog, excellent. Well, there's two other Sonic games on Nintendo GameCube. They're not really coming as remakes. There was Sonic Mega Collection and Sonic Gems Collection, so they're not part of it anyway. Right. That, these are all Nintendo GameCube games, by the way. Then we got the next bunch is Sonic and the Seeker Rings, crap. Sonic and the Black Knight, crap. Sonic Colors, average. Nintendo Wii, that is. Terrible games on Nintendo Wii for Sonic games. Next punch. Sonic Mania, crap. I don't like it. I just hate looking at it. It's not, it's not enhanced, nothing. It looks a bloody same like Mega Drive games. I think it looks a lot, it looks a lot worse. Uh, Sonic Boom, crap. Sonic Lost World. Average, Sonic Forces, average. There you go, let's the Wii U. Next bunch, Sonic Mania. Uh, crap, Sonic Forces, average. Sonic Colors, average. Now tell me about it. Look at all these games. Which ones are even worth making? Yeah. Now, if we look at all this whole of this collection, he's reasoning. Now, let's rerun them again. <laughs> You're probably thinking, why am I keep on doing that? But it's important to know this. Here we go. 
I would say Sony the extract is cut. Should they release that? No. It's old. They should not be releasing that at all. No. Hold on, let me just... We just missed something. Eh? There was Sonic Generations. Excellent. Sonic the Hedgehog. Crap. <laughs> that crap. Okay, here we go. So let's rerun these games. Which ones they should release? Sonic D Sonic to DX. Director's Cut? No. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? No. Sonic Heroes? No. Shadow the Hedgehog? No. There's no point in releasing these games. They're already too good. They should be ignored. Now let's go further. Sonic and the Secret Rings? No. Sonic and the Black Knight? No. Sonic Colors? He's already released that. The Daft Company has. I think that should be a no as well. They should not release that. That's Tendoe. The other games I mentioned before was Nintendo GameCube. Now these are on Nintendo Wii. Next one. Sonic Mania. No, it's not comic. He's already released as a remake anyway. <laughs> For more games. He's already done that. Ignore that. Sonic Boom? No. Sonic Lost World? If they are going to release that, that's gonna be another no. Sonic Forces? No. <laughs> None of them are worth it. Stand away you. Now next one. Sonic Mania? What was it? Not a remake. It's gonna release anyway. That should be a no anyway. <laughs> Sonic Forces? No. Sonic Colors? They already released that. <laughs> what we do we? This is Nintendo Switch ones. These are all no. Doesn't the company even know what they're doing? Now, the next ones Sonic Generations was on the PC and play Sony PlayStation 3. Okay. Well. Should they be releasing that? Uh, Sonic Generation is a bit confusing. I think they should be. They should release that. Sometimes on the PC, it's not working properly. I think that's a good. That's a good title to release. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Generations, yes. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. But the thing was about. The thing is, the one with, uh, let me think about it. This one is, it had very terrible graphics. We know there was loads of glitches, there was loads of, loads of problems in there. And, but the problem, the other problem was that, that it was slow. Yeah. Even Sonic is a fast character. He was running really slow. And... Shadow with a motorbike, a motorbike with snow. <laughs> that was very stupid. This game was on Sony PlayStation 3. Should they be releasing this? Uh, I'll be honest with you. The actual gameplay, the way they made this game. Now, if you look at the story, it's just gonna be the same. The gameplay is most majority the same, but what they're doing in this game, what I've heard of, they're gonna be using some stages from Sonic Adventure, DX, Tractor Scott, and Sonic Heroes. They're doing these funny things with this game. Why are you using them stages? Wow, is there something wrong with the Sonic the Hedgehog game? That you're not, you know, you don't feel confident? So you end up putting some of your old game stages in them. So, so what do we think? So they are putting, they are using Sonic Adventure D Extractors Cut and Sonic Hero Stages. Sounds quite interesting to me. 
Do you think that the game might be interesting, I would say? I would say Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. They should release that. Yeah. I think mean, the only games they should be really releasing should be Sonic Generations and Sonic the Hedgehog. That's it. They should not be releasing anything else. Now, why are they releasing so many remakes? What's, what's the reason behind this? First of all, yeah, yeah, let's just carry on here. They're doing this because for money. What about the money? They're doing it for the money. Can't you see? Why are they releasing every single Sonic game? They think people are crazy, don't they? Wow. All people are not cases out there. Are they nuts? They're getting excited. Whoa, look at all these games are coming out. You know, each game that is releasing a remake. People are getting excited. Like crazy. There are not cases out there. Ah, all of these games are kind of crap. Most majority of them. They do. Now, we said, I said about money. You see, Sonic Team doesn't have much money. Mm. They're clever. They're playing clever tricks on people to to lure you into this trap to buy these games. Now, these games are going to be between twenty pound to fifty pound. Now, I don't know which ones are about fifty pound. They're going to be quite expensive. Some of them. They're very clever. If some of these games are fifty quid, whoa, whoa, whoa! They are going to make lots of money. Selling these games. It's a big, big cheat. You're cheating everybody. So what they're doing, they're gonna try to make money from all of these re from these old and make them into remakes. They're doing silly things like that. What can the reason be behind all this? Why do they need so much money? I'll tell you why. Keep on listening. They're trying to release new games. <laughs> yeah. Sonic 4 Episode 3. They even got plans for Sonic 5. Ridiculous. Now, we're going to talk about Sonic 4 Episode 3 and Sonic 5 in a different video. Okay? That'll be a separate thing. Okay? We're going to carry on. Sonic Frontier. Sonic Generations 2, Sonic Heroes 2, Shadow the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Adventure 3. Can you see what's going on? There was some bit, bit talk of Knights 3 as well. Mm. Knights 3 might be coming out. It's going to be quiet because it's too many Sonic games. This crazy. This crazy team, look what they're doing. This crazy developer. So they need all this money for the new titles. Because they don't have much money to make these games. That's why they are raising these remakes. I don't know if anybody's read this kind of video on YouTube. I don't know about that. But somebody should have pointed out why these laws of these stuff are coming out. Because it doesn't seem right to me. Now, if Sonic teams lost money, why do you think they do, why has that happened? Because they keep on releasing the, their games on multi-formats. Why are you releasing so why are you releasing one of your games on all formats? Doesn't it cost you money to do that? Are you crazy enough to do that? Don't look at the people out there complaining about the, you know, complaining, saying, Oh, you didn't release your level system. It's not about that. It's about success, right? And making a good business of a game on a system. If you keep on releasing um, games on flop systems, what do you think is going to happen? They're not going to be successful. They're going to flop. Now, let's take some ideas. They've been releasing their games on multi-formats. PC, Steam, 
mira now if we look at one of the prospects uh, Nintendo GameCube Sony PlayStation 2 Xbox what have they been doing on that they on if you look at these three systems yeah they released Sonic Heroes on three flipping systems why the heck did you release Sonic Heroes on Sony PlayStation 2 and Xbox when the home of platforms is Nintendo GameCube you crazy or something they only didn't do that they released it on PC as well <laughs> oh, oh I can't take this anymore now if you look at the PC Sony version 2 Xbox Xbox, Xbox Xbox they didn't do so well on that the only game that was high performance of Sonic Heroes was on the Nintendo GameCube can you see what's going on? Can you see how stupid these companies is? What they're doing? I think they should release it on PC. They should release it on Sony PlayStation 2. They should release it on Microsoft Xbox. They should only release it on Nintendo GameCube. This is where they were made lots of money. They kept on making a lot of the games on all of these four platforms. Sonic Heroes did that. And end of the day, Sonic Heroes was only good on Nintendo GameCube. Shadow the Hedgehog. You know what they did on that? <laughs> oh man. Nintendo GameCube, Sony PlayStation 2. I don't know if anyone's played Shadow the Hedgehog on Sony PlayStation 2. It's flipping rubbish. It's, it's crap. The graphics are really, really dark. And some parts of the environment, you can't really see where you're going on it. And you know when they're walking and he's doing all sorts of things like that. There's no dialogues. It just got text. It's a stupid game. It's, it's not made properly. And the Nintendo GameCube version, wow. It was tremendous. And what is Sonic Team doing, seriously? If you knew he had all these problems, they should have cancelled this project. But the Daft Company still released it. That's a prime example of what they're doing. This is really stupid, these companies. I'm telling you, they're really stupid. What is going on, man, with this company? As I already told you, Nintendo GameCube has the best Sonic games of Sonic Team, yeah? Now, as they kept on releasing them, they kept on going worse and worse. They were worse. They were more rubbish. It wasn't making them any better, but it's making it even worse. Even worse games. They kept on con continuing this momentum of dreadful titles of Sonic games. I can't believe they were doing that. Didn't they even know these games are rubbish? What they were releasing further on? Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo Switch got all crap Sonic games. What is going on, man? What's going on there, man? Now, let's go through the best Sony games, yeah? They ever made from a few years now. Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Mega Collection, Sonic Gems Collection. These are all amazing Sonic games. And after that, all the games went crap. They were rubbish. They are absolutely rubbish. Then they start releasing uh, 
okay. Now the next volume system the Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic Colors, Nintendo Wii. Look them and Moyas. Look at that. Then further on, there was Sonic Mania, Sonic Boom, Sonic Lost World, Sonic Forces, Nintendo Wii U, still no good. Nintendo Switch, Sonic Mania, Sonic Forces, Sonic Colors. Still the same. Can you see Nintendo GameCube holds the best Sonic games? And then, you know, PC had um, Sonic Generations and Sonic PlayStation 3 had Sonic Generations and Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is a disaster of a game anyway. Sonic the Hedgehog was... So now you can see how impressive Nintendo GameCube can be even for Sonic Team. Mm. Especially for Sonic games. It's no it's not only that Nintendo game exclusives on the Nintendo GameCube are one of the finest. Even from the further on Nintendo Systems man. Mm. This is what it's all about. So it's all about money making, isn't it? For the newer games. That's what this all is all about. Now, so remember this: all of these remakes, they're making. The old dreadful games. So only just few of them are good, and they're trying to make money from the from the customers. They're not making lots of money. Can you see? Sonic Team hardly didn't open any campaigns. No, no. So instead, they used the idea of old games into remakes to make lots of money. So they can make new games like Sonic 4 Episode 3, Sonic 5, Sonic Frontier, Sonic Generations 2, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Adventure 3, and so on. That's what they're doing. It's a big, big cheat for the customers. I don't think anybody should be buying these games. The only games that I think are worth buying is Sonic Generations and Sonic the Hedgehog. I think they might be worth buying. Because they hardly came on any platform. They came on very limited systems. But especially for PC gamers, yeah? I would have to say. Sonic Generation sometimes doesn't work. Sometimes works. I don't know why it does that. There's some problems with that game. So having a remake of Sonic Generations would be pretty good on it. And Sonic the Hedgehog never came on PC anyway. So it's a good thing to have you on that. Now, Sonic Generations... Sonic the Hedgehog, what should it come on? I think it should. I think it should come on only two platforms. If they want to save money, they better stop doing multi formats. They waste too much money, man. It should come on PC and Nintendo Switch. These are two platforms it should come on, and it should come on anything else. Nintendo Switch is wasting their money making all of their games. On every single platform. You know what? You gotta come on Sonic Team. You need to think what you're doing. You're the one who you need to make the money and business out of them. You can't just go and release them on any, any platform. I mean, Sega, there's other Sega games as well which make loads of mistakes. One of them developer is Yu Suzuki. He's, he's, he's ridiculous. I think he's stupid as well. You know what Yu Suzuki is doing? Now let's take a look at that guy as well a bit. He's been releasing Virtual, Virtual Fighter Esports. He's been releasing that game on Sony PlayStation 5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X. Now these machines are not even doing well. 
they got very poor sales and he's raised his game on them systems and even if you look at that they didn't do so well but the ridiculous Yu Suzuki didn't stop there you know what did? he did? he started using DLC content on them he did that he's silly I don't know if you know about this Shenmue 3 Sony PS5, Xbox Series X. It came on them. And the ball and both and this game flopped on both the systems. <laughs> oh man. Now Virtual Party Esports. It's not on the PC right now. I wonder how well it will do on that. It's already disaster on Sony PS5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X. Shenmue 3 did quite well on the PC. Yeah, it did kind of well. Because PC doesn't have that much, that kind of games on their platform. It makes a good thing. I don't know if you heard about Shenmue HD Remastered Edition. It did reasonably well. It, it did pretty poor before because it had bigger problems. After that, the, when the problems started rectifying, it starts saying well at a later stage. So it's pretty good. For Shenmue HD Remastered Edition, Shenmue 3, to do well. I don't know if you know about this one, another Sega game. What is Sega Company really doing? Yakuza 7. Sony PS5 and Max Xbox Series X flopped. Big flop! But Yakuza 7 on the PC did pretty well. Can you see how the thing works? These developers. Don't know what they're doing. They don't even do their researches. They're just they're just raising them on any platform. I can't believe it. Don't they even know how to succeed their games? And they don't even know what systems they're gonna succeed on. Now, if we look at Sony PS5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X, a lot of the games they've been releasing from 2021, even 2022, that weren't doing so well. They've been flopping miserably. And Nintendo Switch has doing has been doing very well. Now Nintendo Switch emphasize for the future needs to be a bit more stronger. What they're gonna be doing now, they're gonna start be, start releasing Nintendo GameCube games on there. Now, why is Nintendo GameCube coming on Nintendo Switch? Especially now, Nintendo GameCube has the finest and the most amazing Nintendo game exclusives and third-party games. You see, it still owns one of the best. I think it just doesn't hold one of the best from Nintendo systems only. It holds the finest titles from all brands. Yeah, that includes Sony, Microsoft. Yeah. Nintendo GameCube holds one of the greatest games I've ever seen on any system. That's why even the Panasonic Q games console still sells well, even at high prices. Whenever there's a, like a, I've seen some systems which were over one thousand pound. Now they're not there anymore. They're gone. They sold out. They sell instantly because Nintendo games keeps are really good. I mean, in this Panasonic Q, there's Panasonic and Nintendo. You see, there's two companies in one system. Both of the companies in the Panasonic Q, it's Panasonic and Nintendo. It's amazing. They did an amazing job on this system, man. I haven't seen anything like this from a console yet. Yeah? You know, Panasonic multimedia features uh, from Nintendo Nintendo game exclusive they're one of the most amazing that's why the Panasonic Q games console is is one of the most amazing games console on the planet <laughs> yeah I mean it so there you go so this is what's happening with Sony games from Sony team now you know what it is it's good to know 
why are they doing this so there you have it there's nothing more to say about it so i hope you guys enjoyed my video today give me a likes comment subscribe thanks for watching bye from now